Hello and welcome to Five Year Club video number 78, the March budget chicken number three for 2018. And I am happy to report that the first half of March has been a success. And I am $34.63 ahead of my February cash flow. And that includes the purchase of an expensive, like, $500-ish Burning Man ticket. I've got about $67 of cash sitting in my Lending Club account, so I could transfer that over, or I could just let it sit there. It doesn't actually matter too much. I think I might just let it sit there. Lending Club has not given me a very good return. It's given me a return of maybe like 4.7% or something very unremarkable compared with, compared with the stock market. But it is useful that it slowly builds up money and I kind of forget about it. And then I look at it every 10 days or so. And then I've got like 50 bucks that I could transfer into my bank account. And if I'm low in money on my bank account, that's like a safe feeling and I don't have to touch any of my kind of important investments because at this point I am just removing cash from Lending Club because I don't think it's a good long-term investment option for me and I just want to get my money back out. But that will take years because the loans that I picked I think are the five-year loans so it's going to be a while. Anyway, today was a payday so I made a paycheck meme. Uh, regular viewers of the channel will know that Lewis likes paycheck memes. And I found a different one, but I decided uh, to put my own financially independent retired early spin on it. It's got like 50-something likes in a nerdy Facebook group. I'm excited about that. And uh, all right, let's discuss the second half of March, because in some ways the second half of March looks even more bleak and dark than the first half of March. All of my big expenses for the month are over, so most of what is left is going to be food, Got to have some gas to get to work. Internet bill might come in. A lot of times it actually comes in like at the first of the next month. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Comcast. Um, Audible used to be a first part of the month budget expense. And it's kind of moved to the second part of the month over time. And we come across the curious thing where I transferred my, like most of my paycheck out of my bank account. Left 392 Forgot about that Audible expense, added it back, and now my expenses are 401, but my bank account balance is only 392. Oops. So it looks like I'm going to have to figure out how to get nine bucks out of my gas category, very probable, or my spending category. Shouldn't be too hard. I've got a, like a good amount of kind of, you know, freezer food, random food in the kitchen that I can offset that $9 expense with, or Lending Club could come to the rescue. I don't know. It'll work. Anyhow, since most of the rest of this month's budget is for food, then the thing that will kill me is food spending. So restaurants would kill the budget at this point. I have to be very careful about restaurants for the second half of March. And um, let's see, $50 for gas should be good for the next two weeks going to work. But my car is low on gas, so I'm going to have to use some of that almost immediately, probably tomorrow morning. Need some half and half of shampoo. This is how glamorous my life is and how interesting these videos are. Now you know why my hair looks bad. I've been using that three-in-one shampoo for a few days <laughs> uh, because I haven't had a chance to go out and get that uh, actual shampoo shampoo. And um, that'd be a good rapper name. If I was a hip-hop artist, yo, my name is Shampoo Shampoo. You'd take me seriously, wouldn't you? Uh, I mentioned the pasta here because... A few years ago, I bought like this massive amount of wheat pasta from Costco, and it lasted for like, I don't know, two years, actually. Uh, I just finished it. No, it was probably more like four years ago I bought it, and then it lasted for a good two years. Partially because I ignored it, but if you think about it, that's actually fine that you got a food that if you ignore it, it will still be around and still be good to eat six months later. Pasta will, will do that for you. Um, I shouldn't actually need to do any kind of dramatic pasta purchases though, because two fifty for groceries over two weeks should definitely work, especially considering my work provides lunch on many days. Thank you, work. I love you, work. Um, all right, another bright spot looking at the second half of March is that I only have to survive for two weekends. It's not a three weekend uh, paycheck period, so that's nice. I'll get a paycheck on a Friday. Kind of in the 31st is on a Saturday, so that's cool. It lops off a little day there. And 
here is my new survival thing. Every time I successfully don't spend money on a day, then I can mark that day green and uh, and see that I'm remaining on track. And as you can see, I have already painted the 15th green because it is good to feel like you've made some progress already. So I'd encourage you to do that if you have made any kind of good step towards your finances. Make up some BS rule, put it at the beginning of your list, paint it green, smile at yourself, and now you've got momentum instead of being at the beginning. Still need to watch that Veronica horror movie on Netflix. And uh, still need to read about those withdrawal rates. Two very different but exciting things for me. And here I'm just blabbing on about what I should probably think about doing in the next two weeks to not spend money, but still feel like I'm making progress and doing something. Big deal for me would be yoga. I was doing it for a while last year. Kind of fell off that horse. I've got a wonderful yoga mat now sitting unused. I really should do that. And I've got a whole big tub of whey powder that if I did the yoga it would help me grow some muscles. Got a bunch of laundry piled up could pair that with Veronica. Isn't that nice? Like instead of like a wine cheese pairing, you're like, mmm, I'm gonna have a free Netflix movie laundry pairing. That sounds luxurious. All right, and then here I'm just doing a little projection of how March is gonna work out for me. Uh, right now, personal capital shows minus 1851, but since I was covering other people and they have graciously paid me back, I had some a little Venmo transfers from that, so I'm actually at negative 1311 for the current month right now. Minus 401 expected for the remainder of the month, and it's going to be 1712 of total monthly expenses. So we look back now at 2017's March and see how I'm doing compared to that. Well, 2017's March had a total expenditure of minus 2227, which seems like it is higher than 1712. So you would think that this projection is already very positive, but you would sadly be wrong because at this point in time, last March 2017, I was still paying a mortgage. And of that $2,227, $1,111 of that was mortgage principal pay down, which counts as income or savings for me because it is loan that I will not have to pay back later when I sell the condo, which means that the actual total loss for March 2017 was only 1216 Holy moly, that's how difficult this is. How am I going to make 1712 match up with 1216 I am not. Why? Because of that Burning Man ticket. I love Burning Man. And very happy I'm going this year. If I had not bought the Burning Man ticket in March, and there's no real choice because, like, when the ticket comes up to buy, you just got to buy it. They're in high demand. That's, you know, it's not optional. Then for this March 2018, I would only be at 1198 for expenditure compared with that 1216. So I would have beaten Lewis 2017 March by $18. Well, take that, last year, Lewis. Yeah! <laughs> it's like the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> but I really wanted it to work. I really wanted it because it's like, come on, I haven't done anything in March so far. At least give me some kind of victory. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's good enough. And, uh, yeah. And then today I also looked at that uh, at my budget and I'm like, Man, I really need to cut out this storage unit. I pay $137 for a storage unit every month, and I'd never access that storage unit. And uh, I just encountered an old Mr. Money Mustache article today where he lists out things that should be obvious but aren't to many people, and one of those things was don't pay to store stuff. And I'm totally doing that right now. So I need to up my old stuff selling on eBay game. Sounds like that's an activity for one of these weekends. So I can cut down on that storage unit and decrease a fixed cost in my budget. If we say that $137, let's see, $137, I'm going to do a little calculation here. $137 divided by 10 times 3,000, that is how much I will need to build a net worth to maintain that storage unit. And it is $41,000. Holy crap. I'm going to have to save up $40,000 to maintain that storage unit. No, I need to sell that stuff on eBay. 
It's just a bunch of old sci-fi books. Nobody cares. Sell it on eBay. Okay. All right, that's it for Five Year Club video number 78, the March Budget Chicken number three. And uh, hope you'll do your own budget chicken. Doesn't need to be as dumb and crazy as mine. Doesn't need to be filmed. But it will help you succeed with your goals so that you can enter your fe your April, not February, because we're, we're not going back in time. Strong for 2018. That's it. Have a fabulous evening.